Hello and welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, let's take a look at Sanix's Witcher. Before we get started, roll those credits. Right, welcome back. So today we are taking a look at Sanix's Witcher. This came out a little while ago. It actually came out to coincide um, with when The Witcher was released on Netflix. Um, there's a lot of things I really like about this model. So I thought originally that Sanix was doing a game version of Witcher, uh, which he hasn't. And then I thought he was doing a Henry Cavill version of Witcher, which he hasn't. So it's sort of a blended mashup between Henry Cavill TV and 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 Geralt on uh, on the Witcher games. I'm a huge Witcher fan. Um, I played the games. I read the books. I love the TV series. This was a real joy to do. This is one of the few models that my wife has curated to allow in the house, um, which is an amazing achievement for me, both professionally and personally because she hates everything I do by default. So um, I think this and Wally are about the only two models that she doesn't immediately hate the look of and, uh, and has allowed me in our home. So that's really nice. A um, lot of things um, on this model that I really like. Couple of things that mm, just aren't quite there. Um, as I said before, Sanix does some absolutely amazing models. Check out the link in the video description below. Um, this one, as always, we blew up, and I'm pretty sure we blew this up 250%. I blew this up so much, I had to cut the base into four. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I mean, I love the model. Um, it is large. So let's get our trusty, uh, trusty tape measure. We are 650 tall. We are about 400 wide and about 500 deep. Um, I really love the way he tried to include the school of the wolf on the base. Uh, that's really cool. Uh, the cobblestones are really textured, really detailed. That's a nice feature. The goblin heads are a nice touch. Um, I would maybe have liked to have seen maybe manticore heads or trophies or something like that. Um, the witcher didn't really so so orcs and goblins in the witcher world are considered sentient so he doesn't normally kill them but you know here's what it is um he's got the two swords so as you can see here he's got his silver sword in silver and he's then got his uh, regular steel sword which he uses for killing everything other than monsters um i really really like the way the model came out as i say i tried to do this base um, like um, like the Witcher medallion that he wears. And you can actually see that I put the Witcher medallion that he's got on a little bit of string around his neck just to add a little bit of, you know, add, add a little bit of something. Criticisms. So my only real criticism of this is, uh, so there's two maybe. So one, this prints as one big ball. Um, and again, there's not really an easy way to put that on your print bed. The other, is that Sanix put a big plate on the back of the prints. Um, I would really have liked it if he had instead of included a, a version that didn't have the plate or if he'd put his name and everything underneath. Um, I completely understand an artist wanting to sign his work, but I shouldn't have to paint it. 
So, um, so it wasn't really, wasn't really sold on that. A few different painting techniques on this one. So um, all of his chain mail I did in rub and buff. Um, that made it infinitely easier. So basically I painted it all black to begin with um, and then you just go over with a rub and buff to hit those highlights. It comes out really, really nicely. Um, it really gives a depth and organicness to it. It makes the chain mail look a little dirty. Um, I really like that. I had a fail on one of the arms um, and I've sort of managed to hide it. So if we sort of, if we go up there, I've tried to make it so it's more like a feature. Um, so it looks like his armor has got like a big sword slice through it. Um, it shouldn't look like that. Uh, I, you know, I, the problem I would have had is that if I'd have tried to have filled that because it's on a textured surface, you would have seen the join line anyway, because I would have had to have sculpted in the individual um, chain mail to it or reprinted the arm and this part of the torso. And I wasn't really keen on doing either of those things. So, um, so I sort of tried to make it look like his armor had been damaged in a fight, which, you know, I think works. So, um, so yeah, I really love the model. I really love Sanix's stuff. Please go and check him out. He does really, really good work. Other than that, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Thank you very much.